in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, before we have started this moment of Thanksgiving, let us give thanks to God for all the lessons that just will receive. And today Jesus said to all of us, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Let us receive this light and this truth and this life through his mercy. Let us take a minute and let us reconcile ourselves to the Lord. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fall, to my fall, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessed memory of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty Father and Lord, offer of our freedom and our salvation, listen to the voice of our pleading, and grant that those you have redeemed by the shedding of your Son's blood may have life through you and under your protection. Rejoice forever and calm through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch and Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, he said in the synagogue, my brothers, children of family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us his word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and the leaders failed to recognize him, and by converting, they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets. They are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days, he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We are ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised us our fathers, he gave brought, he had brought to fulfill for us their children by rising up Jesus, as it is written. In the second psalm, you are my son. This day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. I myself have set, us, set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You shall rule them with 
with an iron hold, you shall shelter them like early ditch. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. And how? O kings, give heed that want you, rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him with trembling rejoice. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia. disciples, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, well, I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself. So, that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to the Lord. My brothers and sisters, this beautiful message came through this beautiful phrase. You are my son. How to feel with this beautiful phrase? If somebody said to you, you are my son. And then he added this. This day I have begotten you. What? Maybe the first expression for you is a new feeling is coming into your heart, to your mind, and a new knowledge, a new phrase, a new statement that you, that you need to cook. Why? Because when someone says you are important, you are amazing, you are making a good job, you really, I am not proud about you. How do you feel about this? Our own even feelings change. Our own attitudes, our own even behavior change. Why? Because they recognize who we are. And now today, the first message is that one. God the Father recognized through His Son that you are my daughter, you are my son. You are important to me. And Jesus tells us something very profound that we need to grasp in our, in our lives. Say, we are important to, to God. And Jesus came to this world in order to remind us this beautiful statement. You are, for me, so important. That's why I send my son in order to remember and to even to help you to take this phrase seriously in your life. Live your life according to my son. And who is the person who can teach us to live in according to the son Jesus? Jesus tells us today through St. Paul and the full reading that Jesus came to this world in order to fulfill all the plans that the Father has in the past, in order to help us in the present to live always in present our lives. And Jesus help us to understand how God is going to bring us life. Maybe for us it's a good question that we need to address. What does this mean? I am the way and the truth and the life. Why Jesus said to all of us, I am the life. 
And maybe also I am the truth and I am the way. First, we need to understand this phrase, I am. This phrase is connected with Exodus 3.14. And what is the meaning? The context and interpretation is this. Ehedim is the first person for Hayab to be. And owing to the particularities of the Hebrew grammar means I am, I was, and I will be. I am who am, or I am he who is. A statement of the nation of Israel, God, Elohim. Jesus reminds us today, as well as St. Paul, that he is the person who came from heaven in order to remind us that he is the creator. He is the one who created everything for you and for me. And that's why God reminds us, I am the life, means remember this, the creation, the planet, the cosmological system is remind you that you are life. You have life and you have to live in life and you need to promote life. And this is the first question that we need to address. The way you are living and you designing at this moment, you promote life, not only according to the physiological level, or the psychological or intellectual level, no, according to the spirit, and also not according to only the human spirit or the divine spirit, according to the Holy Spirit. Are you happy the way you are? Are you happy the way you interpret your life according to this new discernment and especially to this pandemic experience? It reminds us, God, and said to all of us, if you stay home, if you keep it, your life, and safe, you will understand this. And I think that's the first exhortation to all of us. God created us. New exhortation to this gospel in order to remind us this. I am a living God. And that's why I ask you to stay in home, to take care of your body, to take care of yourself, promote life through this pandemic experience. Do not promote death. Do not promote darkness. No, you are my beloved son, and I am trust this new experience in order to make deeply discernment. And that's why, brothers and sisters, we need to even understand as well as we discover this beautiful statement, I am in John 1, 1, and his gospel. is the first verse in the opening chapter of the gospel of John. And the, the old, even the Deuteronomy remind us this, and this is something important. The Bible, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This is something very interesting, how the Lord reminds us this. Jesus came as a new Word, as a new lexicon. That's why the disciples say, we don't understand, Lord. This new lexicon that you brought us to us, could you explain to us? And Jesus said, that's why I came, because to this new lexical, you need to live your lives. I am not alone. I came to this world because I received a new mission from my father. And that's why I have to be back, because the God that you have is a living God. And this is another question that we need to address. Really, that we, we believe that God is a living God. And he is so close to us. That's why Jesus emphasized from the chapter 10 to chapter 14 and 15 and 16, God is alive. And especially at the end of the Gospels, when Jesus destroyed the dead, the sin and the devil, and then after three days, he rises again and reminds us this, I am a living God. And that's why I ask you to stay at home and to discover how God through this pandemic experience bring you new life. And I am going to ask you this third question in this first message. Who is the person who bring you light? And I am going to give you some answers. You know, what are the people now who bring us light, especially the government? They provide for us many good sources. And for many people, they send money. 
Also, we have a wonderful experience in, in our Pope and the Cardinals and Archbishops and Bishops and many different parishes around the world. We have many choices in a spiritual level, not only in the economical level, no, in a spiritual level, that they provide for us new life. And this kind of, of dish is really, Jesus already good for us because Jesus is a good chef. And Jesus provides spiritual life for another church. Another example is this, the people who are working as a doctors and nurses, men and women, many of them now, they sacrifice themselves in order to bring us hope in the healthy or health care level. In order to tell us this, I bring you a new life to you. For them, see them, they are sacrificed themselves in order to discover the antivirus about this COVID virus. And they work in 24 hours for us. Also, the fourth example is this. Thousands of people now working in the farms, in different supermarkets, in order to provide for you the food that you need. You don't need to go out. They bring you light to you. And even, brothers and sisters, something important that we need to discover is this. The people who are bringing you the food to your homes, they are working for you and for me in order to tell us, take care of your life. God is telling us that life is so precious. And that's why it's so important to all of us to be aware about this beautiful moment. And I am give you this example. Whoever has the Son has life, Jesus said. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. The good news, welcome Jesus into your world and give your spirit over to him. He will help ensure that you have a fulfilled and happy life. The second message is this. Jesus said to all of us, I am the way. It means before Jesus, we cannot be back to heaven. And after Jesus, Jesus make a new way after the resurrection. And that's why Jesus said to all of us, after this life, you have extra life. It's a divine life, a supernatural life. That's why Jesus, when he rise after three days, he transformed our body, his body in a new divine body. And Jesus tells us, if you use this pandemic experience in order to receive new alignment and new wisdom, new strength, new courage, in order to transform your physical body and a divine body, you will be happy for the rest of your life. And this is beautiful how Jesus tells us today, I am the way. Means I am the person who teaches you something new for you. If you are behind me, do not be afraid. I am going to bring you light. Like this light help us just to see ourselves better and to remove from ourselves all the darkness. Jesus reminds us today this beautiful statement and that, that's why even Jesus said, I am the way. No one comes to, to God but through me. And we discover this in John 6, for years, I was taught that it, it means Jesus was the only way to God. And, that, and that, that is to say, if you did not believe in Jesus, you could not be back to the Father. And that's why Jesus said in the Gospel today, if you believe in me, you need to believe in my Father. I will be back to my Father, and I'm going to walk in with you. You know, and this is the third message. In the Gospel today, Jesus said, I am the truth. And the truth is this, Jesus came to this world in order to, to send the humanity. And Jesus said, my father, give us the word, and he fulfilled his word through me. And this is the beautiful example that we need to take conscience about ourselves. Jesus reminds us today that he came to the world because since the beginning of creation, God sent the humanity. And that's why Jesus said constantly through different examples, to all of us, even since the beginning of his mission. I came to this world to serve you. The truth is this, God the Father served the humanity through his son. And that's why Jesus said to all of us, 
I came to this world to teach you a new way to live and in truth means and in freedom. In another words, to share in your talents, your qualities, your virtues with others. Do not take it for yourself. Take it, you gives for others in order just to continue to produce not only a good relationship, a good intimacy, or a new even communion with others, but also in order to please the Father. That's why Jesus became so famous to all of us. And even when Jesus was talking with Pilate, Jesus said to the Pilate, I am the truth. It means I am the person who is take, take seriously my mission. And I am serve the humanity. Even I am going to die and I'm going to rise. You know why? Because the, the existence and the primary source for our Father is truth. Means is the one who knows everything. And he sent me to the world to teach you this. If you follow me, you will be happy. And that's why St. Paul reminds us in the first reading in this beautiful statement. Jesus died and rise in order to tell us that he is the server to all of us. I am going to give you an example as a first conclusion. I, I see Jesus, you know, in this capital system, we have many people who serve us. We have cook in our homes. We have someone who cleans the rooms, even the house. We have also someone who take care of the gardens. We have many servants. Around our, around our own environment. I think Jesus is like that. Jesus said in the gospel, I am going to be back to my father because I am going to prepare a place for you. And I see like Jesus, that lady or that man working in the, in the garden, as well as those people who clean the doors or even close the, the cleans, I'm sorry, cleans the, 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 the house, that Jesus is going to clean our own place and he is working in order to prepare that place for us and Jesus says this second conclusion if you follow me my commandments you will be happy you know why because I came to this world to bring to bring you life not only to serve you but also to bring new life but also to help you to how can you share in your truth to others May the Lord bless all of us in order to keep you aware about his new blessings. That's why Jesus even came to San Faustina and tell us, I am the person who died for the humanity and I bring you mercy, compassion, and forgiveness. This is the truth. This is the life and this is the way. If you have the ability in this pandemic experience, and I conclude with this idea, to use this pandemic experience in order to bring life to other people and ask for forgiveness and also give a forgiveness, you will be happy. Even if you recognize your truths, your mistakes, your own realities, and use the those realities in order to enlighten yourself and to enlighten others, really, but also after you recognize your own truths and say, Lord, could you enlighten me through your kindness? Through your wisdom, through your understanding, through the gifts of the Spirit, I will tell you this. You will receive a new alignment and a new strength and you increase your trust and your belief in the Lord. Ask to Jesus to help you and to be ready to love according to Jesus. And Jesus said to all of us, be with me because I am with my Father and my Father is a loving Father. That's why Jesus said to his disciples, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Bless you all, and may the Lord bless you always, all of you. And especially those people who work in the hospitals as a good service to all of us. May God bless all of them. United in faith and for fire by your Savior's love for us, let us present 
our petitions to the Father. For the, for the Pope Francis, for the Cardinals, our Sobitius and Bishops, and the all priests and religious and lay people, and all who serve the people of God, may the Lord help them to persevere in defending the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world leaders, all the presidents around the world, and especially those people who work in, in the public offices and the farms, and those even working in different supermarkets and different places to create the food for us, for us as well as the medicine. May God of justice help them in their work of serving their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer for the sake of the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faithful communities and Elizabeth and Zita and all the friends and family members who are with us virtual through this mass that we who worship our God's altar may be transformed for service in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, especially our family members and friends and benefactors and those priests who died in this pandemic experience around the world, may God welcome them to his heavenly table. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray especially for all those people who are sick, for Giovanni, Simon, Gian Giuseppe, may the Lord strengthen him in this critical moment, but also let us pray for the family members and for those people who are sick, as well as for Helen and for those who have cancer and their special treatment. May the Lord protect them in this time, but also let us pray for the doctors and nurses and for Anne, that the, his nephew is uh, and even in New York working voluntarily to those people who are in the hospitals and have COVID virus. May God protect all of those who are working with them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us take a minute and offer our own personal petitions to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father and Lord, your Son Jesus came to give us a share in your life. And hear the prayers we offer today. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
praying my brothers and my sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Let us pray. Almighty Father and Lord, accept them in compassion. We pray the our Prince of your family that under your prophetic care they may never know what they have received, but attain to give them an eternal. We ask this through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just that during our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more graciously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life and the help of the heavenly kingdom are thrown upon open to the faithful by his death is a ransom from death and his rise the life of all has risen therefore overcome with pascal joy every land every people exalt in the praise and even the heavenly power with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy 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 lord god our host Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God and Father, who love the human race and who always walk with us in the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, Jesus Christ, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples so now for us, he opened the scriptures and read the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be good enough for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, he gave you thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim you that all and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, who you lived through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the word of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of bread, the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the blessing of the church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been intended unto us, and granted by the power of the Spirit for your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion, by the partaking of this mystery. Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit, and grant we may be conformed, conformed to the image of your Son, and comfort us in this form of communion. <clears throat> Together with Francis our Pope, the Archbishop Spirit and Paul, 
and all other bishops, especially the Zedrian Diamond and our other bishops, Gustavo and Diana, the priests, especially our Pastor Jose, and the deacons who do entirely well, all. Grant all the faithful of, of the church, especially this community in San Elizabeth and Zita, and those brothers and sisters who are with us from other communities, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing the grief and pain, the joy and hope, we may faithful bring them the goodness of salvation and go forward with them uh, along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and the resurrection give them the fullness of life we pray for our benefactors and friends and family members who died in this community and around the world, especially those people who died with this COVID virus. And I continually pray for our eternal repose, for the faith of the Father, as well as for my mom. Grant also to us, when our early proven church is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her husband, St. Joseph, with the apostles and martyrs, Jose Luis Sanchez de Rio, Don Bolivia, Agustin Bro, Don Romero, and with all the saints, especially San Elizabeth and Zita, Concepcion, Juan Diego, and Lisa de Valencia. We shall praise you, exalt you, through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty, Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day your daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver all who pray from every evil and gracefully grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may always free from sin and save from all distress, as we wait your blessing, hope, and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant the peace and unity and accord with will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with your voice. And with your spirit. Let us offer show the sign of peace. Peace of the Lord. second path, and I am the way and the life. Anyone who wants to be back living the truth means living service and love. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood
confianza a ti me puedo acercar. Tú eres la herencia de quien puedo disfrutar. Con amor me has colmado de mil favores. Oh Dios, cuando pienso en ti, se me quita todo dolor y en tu presencia soy como un niño que lo que quiere es estar, estar muy cerca de ti. Oh Dios, cuando pienso en ti, se me quita todo dolor y en tu presencia soy como un niño que lo que quiere es estar, estar muy cerca de ti. Hard Dimas, Lord, by your blood, from every tribe and tongue and people and nation, you have made us into a kingdom priest for our God. Alleluia. And let us pray together, brothers and sisters, the spiritual community. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Father and Lord, keep us safe, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who live and reign for, forever and ever, to enter the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, the Mass ascended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. I invited you just to pray to Our Lady for all those people who are sick and especially those who have cancer and they cannot attend to the regular appointment that they have. They have another different kinds of treatment. Let us pray for all of them, but also for the mothers who expect the baby and also who working with them. Let us pray for our benefactors and friends who call us to pray for our needs. And let us pray all together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit that you born Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Have a wonderful day, and bless you all. You are in our prayers.
See?